All right, here we are, week two of the Titan FC 40 video blog with Desmond Green. Des, how you doing? Hey, bro, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Put in a double session today, so, you know. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. You must be exhausted, but uh, let, let's talk about this past week. I saw that uh, you were in New York this past weekend. How was that, uh, you know, kind of getting out of the uh, out of the city? Oh, it was fun, man. It was dope. Uh, I got to go down and see my daughter. Um, you know, she's, uh, you know, she lives in the Bronx, my oldest daughter. And then my other two live here with me and um, my girlfriend now. So uh, it was great, great, great to see her. She's going to a summer camp. So, uh, you know, I went to see her off. Uh, if you follow me on my social media, you know, I was, I was teaching her how to ride bikes. So uh, she, she finally got the hang of going without the trainer wheel. So uh, it was a fun time, fun time. And, and was it was it good, you know, to kind of just get out of Florida as well, you know, kind of recharge the batteries a little bit, uh, getting out of your environment? Did, did you find that at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, so, you know, I had left like Friday and I just came back uh, last night. So I had like three, four days off from the gym. You know, uh, I gave my body a break, no training. And, uh, you know, today I just came in. I felt so refreshed. We had sparring today. It was uh, it was great. You know what I mean? It, it was like I was, I was kind of almost itching to get back in there. I'm like, ah, you know, fight's coming. I, I break's over, you know. So it did my body good, gave me a mental break. And, uh, you know, now I'm ready to put in these last uh, two and a half weeks hard. So. Well, and, and I'm sure part of the reason for that is, uh, you know, seeing your teammates uh, do so well last week. I was actually in uh, Vegas as well. I, I wasn't in Toronto. Um, I was uh, covering the fights and uh, I got to meet uh, two of your teammates there, uh, Vicente and, and Gilbert Burns, both coming away with victories. Um, did you watch the fights at all this past weekend? Oh, uh, yeah. I was glued to my TV um, for both their fights and I was, yeah, I was so happy. And like you said, it, just the energy, like I was feeding the tone through the team. Our whole team was. And just to see them go, you know, go and do such a great job, you know, two finishes, you know, it's encouraging to me. I'm like, these are guys I go with every day. You know, we're pushing each other every day. You know what I mean? They, he goes out there and they both just kill their guys. It's just like, you know, it kind of, in perspective, puts, you know, where I'm at in my career and just reminds me that, you know, I got a, I got the best guys training with me in the world. So, you know, I'm, I'm bound to get better. And, and aside from your teammates competing, was there a favorite fight you had over the, the three events this past weekend that you watched? Yeah, man, uh, Joanna, I love her. She's such an animal, man. She, I, I love the way she fights. She's so aggressive and just mean. And, you know, and she over, she overcame some adversity. To, it's even better, you know what I mean? I was like, all right, yeah, she's a real champion. So I was, I, was, I was happy about that fight. Yeah, I agree. That was definitely the best fight this past weekend. And, and I, knew, I knew you liked Joanna because I saw when I posted that picture on Instagram of her with the title, you were like, oh, man, that was awesome. So that, that was yeah, cool to see. Um, those, sure. those girls can bring it, man. For straw weights, that was uh, that was probably one of the best fights this weekend, um, if not yeah, the best fight. So, yeah, you know what? These girl fights are interesting, man. The girl division is the you know the UFC is doing a great job at uh, you know getting the right fights, mixing it up in there. You know they're becoming exciting, so um, I'm happy for them. Awesome. Um, now let's talk about the last week as far as uh, training. Um, you and I had kind of spoke, you know, just kind of uh, getting into training and everything like that. Uh, what did you sort of work on last week as far as uh, some of the things uh, for, for this fight camp? Um, really? So we well, really we've been working on, um, you know, fighting a heavier guy, right? You know, so he, he's not going to be as quick as me, obviously. He's going to be looking for those power shots. So, you know, me and my coach has really been working on in and out movement. Hey, You know, keep him guessing so he can't just close his eyes and swing, you know, for that power shot. So really, I've been working with, um, you know, me and Evan. Evan, he's, uh, I'm sorry, he's my, one of my favorite guys, you know. Say second to Henry who Shout out Henry. Shout out Evan. But no, me, me and Evan been working um, on, you know, after I'm striking, getting out of range. In range, out of range. I dictate when I want to, um, you know, uh, exchange. So that's pretty much what we've been working on, just in and out. And that's Evan Boris, I should mention, uh, who's who's actually from up here in Canada. So a little bit of a connection there here with uh, this interview as well. Um, now, as far as, um, you know, the, this coming week, uh, what, are, what are you sort of looking at as far as a uh, game plan for training and everything? Um, this week, really what it is, is uh, I kind of want to grind it. You know, like uh, I gave my body a rest, right? So now I want to go hard, really push my lungs out this next week and a half, two weeks. Really hard. Uh, lots of lots of sparring, um, lots of mitts. And uh, get my cardio up, and then you know that last week just close. So right now I'm kind of kind of in the thick of it. You know I want to I want to hurt my body. You know um, not not too much, but you know I want to work my lungs out every day, and uh, you know just get ready for the grind. You know just continually 
work on my stand up. Um, you know, this guy is uh he likes to go in and grab. I don't really think he's too much of a wrestler, but I know he does like the body lock. So, you know, just just brushing up on things here and there. I actually just spoke to your opponent about uh, maybe 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago, and did an interview with him. Great guy, really nice. Um, but uh, yeah. the one thing I found interesting was I asked him about you as an opponent, and he said he'd never heard of you. Do you believe him? Because I, I don't know. That, that To me, like, you've been around the circuit for a while. It seems kind of odd that he wouldn't know who you were. Yeah, yeah, nah. It, two, two things. Either he really doesn't know who I am, and that just proves that he uh, doesn't take the sport serious and uh, this fight serious, or, you know, he's trying to cover up and, you know, try to make me feel like, you know, I don't have such a buzz going on. But, you know, like I said, I've been in Bellator. I've been a Titan champion. I've been overseas. I've been breaking headlines. So anybody in my weight class, you know, if you do your homework, you should be looking at who's the top prospects in your weight class. And, you know, I, my name rings a bell. So either way, I, I hope he doesn't. So then when I knock him out, he'll feel like an asshole for not doing his research. <laughs> yeah, and, and you should know you just from your Snapchat alone, man. I mean, no one no one does it better in the, in the sport right now. So, um, yeah. I, I, I got to ask though, um, you know, when you came back to the gym on Monday, morale must have been pretty high with those, you know, those wins last week from your teammates. Did you kind of find that when you walked in the gym? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, you know, as soon as, soon as uh, so it's funny, I got there Tuesday, and you know, Gil, that was uh, Gilbert's first time coming in too. We haven't seen the center yet, but Gilbert, Gilbert's already been Gilbert's an animal. He's been in training. He's sparring with me today. But uh, you know, he came in, and everybody's like, oh, you know, we all stop, clap, and we're like a big family here. So you know we're giving we're giving him uh, big big props and big up. So you know it, it, you know like I said everybody's feeding off of it. You know we see our guys. You know we're competition, friendly competition. So Gilbert goes out there and finishes them. So now I'm like you know he, he went to me he's like hey it's your turn. So I'm like all right now I got to turn it up. I got to follow on my boy footsteps. Absolutely. All right. Uh, one thing I did want to talk to you about, just because I noticed it there on, on social media, um, obviously a, a lot going on in the United States right now, uh, especially with the, the Anton Sterling thing that happened, uh, you know, obviously with the, the Dallas uh, police officers as well. I know you, you had some posts on there on social media, um, just as someone who lives in the U.S. and, you know, has probably dealt with racism at some point in your in your life. Um, how do you sort of uh, teach that to your kids as far as, you know, what's going on and, and how you're kind of relaying that? Man, it's so frustrating, like just with everything going on. And it's, it's just like, Time and time again, you know, this stuff been happening. Now now that we have cell phones you know, and the internet, you know, people are starting to, you know, kind of see it and, you know, kind of feel where we're coming from as being like a black man in America. And I've I've gotten pulled over in profile so many times, you know what I mean? And it's just, like you said, I got a three-year-old son and a couple more years, I'm going to have to have that talk when I'm like, you know, there's etiquette, you know, there had, there, there's etiquette, black etiquette that we have to deal with. You know, we have to act a certain way in front of certain people, especially authorities, you know, in order so that we don't have to, um, you know, get racially profiled, shot at, ir illegally arrested. So, you know, I, it's, it's, I don't even know how I'm going to explain it to him yet. I'm just going to have to tell him, hey, listen, you know what I mean? This is what it is. It's, it's literally black and white, literally, you know what I mean? It's here, and it's unfortunate, but, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things we got to deal with. Do you find that, I mean, because they're so young, do you find that, I guess, sort of the most important thing is just setting a good example yourself, uh, you know, sort of how you, you know, you deal with situations like this? Because, I mean, essentially, they're looking up to you as, as a role model. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, that's what it is. You know, basically, I got to, I got to, you know, lead by example. I got to show him, you know, how to act, you know. Uh, and also, you know, if, nine times out of ten, if you're doing the right thing, you know what I mean, you won't run into these problems. You know, that's the most important thing. But then there's always those occasions where, you know, you have, to go above and beyond what you think you have to do just to ensure your safety. And you know what I mean? And, you know, that's just me having to explain to him. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I don't even want to scare him. You know, I, I just want him to grow up loving everybody. You know what I mean? Hopefully by the time he comes to age, you know, America's got this shit figured out and, you know, everybody can just get along. Well, I, I'm glad you, you spoke your mind on the issue because, uh, you know, I know some people, uh, they don't want to talk about it, but I, I think it's good that you're, you're getting the message out there. And I, th I thought that was really nice. Um, on a lighter note, Probably the coolest thing I saw, uh, you know, kind of on your social media this this weekend. You're rocking the Anaheim Mighty Ducks jersey um, on the plane ride back. Uh, where'd you get that thing? Because it looked pretty damn cool. Yo, oh my God, I so funny story. That Mighty Ducks, I wish I had it on me right now. That Mighty Ducks jersey is my favorite jersey. Get this, about three years ago, I'm at work. I was working at a call center. This is a true story. This guy, this little Asian guy walks in with the Mighty Ducks jersey on. And instantly, I'm like, yo, where'd you get that from? Like, I want that. Like, I'll buy that off of your back right now. And he's like, seriously? He's like, give me $40. I was like, yeah, listen, I'm lunch. I will go to the bank, grab $40, and buy that. And so I, I, 40, I went on lunch, grabbed the 40 bought it off of him. He, like, put a T-shirt on for the day. 
And I was the happiest <laughs> guy ever. And you know what I mean? Everybody always asked me, where'd you get that from? And I'm like, I, I literally bought it off somebody's back. I don't know. But I seen it and I had to have it. it was, I watched that movie millions of times. Instant classic. Yeah, Charlie Conway. That was my guy, man. That was uh, that yeah. like grow, especially growing up in Canada, where hockey's really big. It was it was like a huge uh, huge influence on on my life. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool. And you know, it's such a bummer. Like the hot, they had an NHL team called the Mighty Ducks, and then they changed it to the Ducks, and they got these dark jerseys now. I'm not a fan. They should have kept the Disney jerseys. I remember. Yeah, it's funny. One of my little cousins, he's about like 11. Mm-hmm. He asked me, he's like, "What hockey team is that?" I'm like, oh, bro, you don't even know. This is <laughs> this is better than any hockey team now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, Des, I'm going to let you get out of here. I appreciate the time, like I said, uh, doing the double training session today and joining me here. Um, we'll be back at it next week. Uh, but where can people get a hold of you on social media and uh, any other thank yous or shout outs, man? The floor is yours. Yeah, cool. Um, social media, real active. Um, Instagram and Twitter, same thing. It's uh, Predator Tune, P-R-E-D-A-T-O-R-T-O-O-N. I throw up a million posts a day. Uh, Snapchat, I'm real active on, is uh, Random Tune, R-A-N-D-O-M, Tune, T-O-O-N. And then uh, Facebook, you can follow my fan page. It's uh, my name, Desmond, the Predator Green. And uh, also my personal page, uh, I still got some room for fan requests left. It's uh, Tune Winning, T-O-O-N, Winning Without the G. And uh, big, just big shout-out to my family, man. Big shout-out to my team. Uh, and, you know, just looking forward to this fight. You know, everybody keep following on these blogs and, uh, you know, have fun.